This is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're flying high in the 262. This is the Tier 8 German Heavy Fighter, characterized by amazing climb, wonderful frontal firepower, and couldn't outturn a battleship. I skipped the first part, but I climbed up to space, and we're looking for enemies, found one, and we're already diving on them. There's a ground attack aircraft that is streaking to base, and here is a turn fighter that I'm trying to get some shots on. When he pulls below me like that, that's a very difficult shot for me to make because the plane really doesn't want to pitch forward and down. I keep up my frontal speed, and you notice that the turn fighter was quickly outpaced. Even when off radar, I got out of range so fast. I'm the best kill stealer on the server, so I'm just going to finish off this ground attack aircraft. So looking at the state of the game, it is relatively interesting. We actually have three ground attack aircraft to their one, which is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a bad thing. It's a good thing in that we can collect supremacy and kill ground targets much faster than them. However, it's a bad thing because if you look at the mini-map, I'm speeding towards the battle, but we are going to be hopelessly outnumbered in actually air-to-air -air combat. On my approach, I'm not getting as much altitude as I normally do. I like to come straight down on players, but I just need to get into the fight relatively quickly, give these planes something to think about, uh, and try to save the two teammates that are already in battle. That's all for naught, though, as those planes already died. I'm keeping my straight line speed. I'm switching targets just to the next guy in front of me. I don't want to do a ton of speed bleeding turns since this thing just doesn't turn that well anyway. We see an IL-40 up here. He's forced more or less to go in a straight line, which is exactly what I want to do. So looking at the game state now, we have four air-to-air -air fighters and they have seven. Awesome, this should be totally easy. So I climb up to space, my flight mate is off in a 1v1, uh, which he does win right now. I really like boom and zoom planes because I have no fear of these guys. I can zip in, take out, or at least shoot at a target, and then pull away before they can really retaliate. My flight mate and I are pretty much committed to this battle since our other teammate is in this area too. If we lose him, oh, which we did, it's now effectively two on six. So my flight mate is in the Yak-15. It is a jet, so he does have the ability to climb and get out of there. And like I said before, I obviously have no fear because I can escape pretty much at will against this lineup. So with my flight mate on the defensive, he can get out of there, but his escape skills aren't quite as good as mine. It's really up to me to try and thin the herd, as it were. I have a l large altitude advantage over these guys. I'm not going back down there yet since they're waiting for me. I'm just going to let them sweat it out a bit. Our GA continue to attack ground targets, and that, uh, that continues to be not worth a whole lot in this game. So I notice that my flight mate is in trouble. He's pulling someone towards me, and he is directing me to get the Spitfire. So I line up the Spitfire that's on his tail, and it's a pretty simple kill. I end up taking a whole lot of damage from that BF-109Z. I uh, quickly pull up to not only prevent him from pulling around on me and finishing the job, but also to avoid the head-on. We actually luck out and have a couple of their planes go and attack some of our ground attack aircraft. And our ground attack aircraft actually manages to take out one, so that's a pretty huge help. Making it a much more manageable 2 on 3 or 2 on 4 in the middle. I accidentally flew above 5,000 feet and when you're that high the game limits you and it feels like you're flying through tar. Uh, diving on the 109Z, I get what looks like an okay shot, but I absolutely don't damage him. That shot is just really, really hard to hit. Notice that I'm pulling off to the left, making him 
do pretty much a 180 degree turn. That's very speed bleeding and by the time he turns around he's uh, 1200 meters away from me and not getting closer because he lost so much speed. If I would have broken off straight or if I would have turned to the right and underneath him he would have shots on my tail. That last part about what direction you're going to fly when you pass someone is incredibly important and it could have meant the difference between uh, success and failure here. Pulling around on the 109Z, I'm not sure if he doesn't see me or what, but the shot is pretty easy. I think the first crew skill, the increased view range, is incredibly important to get. I think it's actually required because otherwise uh, what happened there is I'm guessing I was above the cloud cover and he was below it or he was in it and that's why he couldn't see me or uh, he couldn't simply see me because I was greater than 1500 meters. Either way, I think it's uh, very important to get that skill. Instead of drop down and getting that plane that's going for our headquarters, I'm going to help out my flight mate and nearly get rammed in the process. So the downside of boom and zoom aircraft is I really can't pull around that quickly and help out my flight mate. So I just have to trust that he's going to survive a little bit until I can actually pull around. It takes uh, several thousand meters to do it. I don't have a shot on the other plane that's actually chasing my flight mate, but a BF-109Z tries to climb into the vertical with me. He's going to sustain the accuracy penalty while firing up. I'm going to get an accuracy bonus while firing down, and it leads to him dying and me taking no damage. After my flight mate expresses gratitude for killing the guy on his tail, I look at the game state again and realize, wow, we just overcame some pretty significant odds to come back and win this one. Huge props to my flight mate for surviving for that long against crazy, crazy opposition. I also want to point out that the supremacy advantage that we've held all game has done what it always does. Absolutely nothing. And now it's for that time-honored tradition where we hit the last GA so hard that candy comes out. Or at least XP and credits. We both decide on a ram, but the guns on the planes are just too strong. People keep talking about this XP nerf, but that was 2700 experience. Seems good. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.